Now, oh boy, blast from the past here. I'm not sure when the show stopped airing originally. I think it, sh- it, it was nationally syndicated, I believe, from 1964 to 1982, and then it replayed forever. That's Lawrence Welk there. He's of German ancestry from one of the Dakotas. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And he would play the corniest old-time music, and sometimes they'd have a bubble machine. It was shit that would basically put you to sleep, you know, while your doctor gave you a prostate massage or whatever. It was sponsored by Geritol, which I think was some old people elixir. But every night it was the corniest most like purely put through a strainer, distilled Aryan white show I've ever fucking seen. But every once in a while, I'd notice they'd bring out a tap dancer. This fella. This is Arthur Duncan. He died about a year ago. I think it was January of 2023. He was 97 years old. Made it without getting lynched. Without going to jail, he was a nice black man. And he was nice to white people. And he tap danced for them. And he let, we let, we, you and I, let him live until 97. There he is again, aiming to please. And you see the LW, that's the Lawrence Welk Orchestra in the background. And now... Here he is tap dancing. And Arthur Duncan, very simple name. Look him up on Wikipedia. It said that he kind of, he was not a comfortable tap dancer. He kind of danced like someone had a gun to his back. Thirsty here, excuse me. Now look at his face here. This is the face of a man who knows that he may be shot if he doesn't please you with his tap dancing. And if you think there's something wrong with that, you got to screw loose. Now, I, I put together count this is like a ton of clips of Arthur Duncan dancing. I put them together. There's other there's interviews with him. He I think he debuted on the Betty White show. Betty White was something. There was something about her that was dirty. I got to tell you, but Betty White had a show in 1954. He appeared as a tap dancer on there. But in 1964, when he joined the Lawrence Welk show as their regular Dancing African primate, he became the first African American to be re- a regular on a weekly variety show. I don't even think they have variety shows anymore. But here, here is Arthur Duncan dancing. What kills me I, as I was putting these together, it's every time like Art, like, and also Lawrence Welk called him a credit to his race, and he is. We need. More blacks like this. Every time he would come out, though, he'd get introduced. But when he started tapping, because he would sing from time to time, but he spoke with his feet. He started dancing. It was like the punchline. Every time he started tap dancing, I burst into laughter. And I hope you do, too. Let's enjoy some Arthur Duncan here. Let's go. As enjoyable as this is, I think I cropped this wrong or something. So very, very quickly, I'm going to vamp and try to recrop this. What the hell did... Oh, I'm out of my mind here. No, it's it's way too cropped. No option. Yeah, because I'm, I'm viewing it on QuickTime and it's... Yeah, there's a lot more in the scene here. I don't, I don't want to spoil any of the enjoyment for you. Look at this. This is so fucking corny. But this was back before all the, you know, before the, well, everyone younger than the boomers, like, came up and fucked everything up. Here we go. All right. Now, this is better. This is, this is pure negroidal enjoyment right here for you. Arthur Duncan, the king. Whoops, my entire screen is gone now. Did I quit? 
No, I'm on OBS. Here we go. We got it. Here we go. All right. Now, let's enjoy some tap dancing. So athletic. Wow. They're such good entertainers. Yeah. Dig it. He's going to go crazy in a minute. And look how many people in the orchestra aren't even moving. They might even be mannequins. Hey! Yeah, look at that. And I'll bet you the other thing too is, but applause where it's due. Unlike Reggie Jackson, I bet you Arthur Duncan was called the worst names in the world and he died a happy man. He was happy to live in a country that allowed him to tap dance and make a good living where he'd be sticking his hand, his arm up to his elbow inside cow's vaginas and eating rocks and swatting away tsetse flies in his native land. This is what we need to encourage, this sort of behavior. Bring back black tap dancing. Here he talks. He's so clean cut. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Arthur Duncan. I'd like to put my happy feet to work and dance to a Joe Rizzo arrangement of that fine old standard. I know that you know. Ready, fellas? One, two, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Yes. Dance. I'll throw you a nickel. This is entertainment. Tell me this isn't better than Kanye West. Smile, the, the uneasy smile. Wow. Are you enjoying this as much as I am? Yes. Wow, fantastic. Let's see how Arthur Duncan handles the problems of a milkman's job. <laughs> Here he is as the milkman delivering the milk to the, the white ladies in the neighborhood. Now, I'm sure you've seen the Chappelle show and there was he, Dave was the milkman in a very controversial sketch called the nigger family, but it was N-I-G-G-A-R. Here is Arthur Duncan in days before everything went to hell with the degeneracy and the foul language. Wholesome, when, when a black guy delivering milk meant nothing more than a black, a smiling, eager to please, and an all a spotless white outfit delivering milk. Do it, Arthur Duncan.
They're yelling at him. He's dancing harder. And some of these, these women in the Lawrence Welk show, they're so fucking wholesome and fecund and bosomy and bear, milk, milk bearing women. Milk man, keep those bottles quiet. Don't leave that noise on my milk diet. So milk man, keep those bottles quiet. Bet he never complained. He never beat up a hooker. He never. I, I, the thing is, look, I, I looked because he seems gay as hell. He had what? He had two wives, I believe. Uh, and he, he, but he never, never really had any kind of public. I don't know if he had any children. He was one of thirteen bl poor black children, born in Pasadena, California. Wonderful. I I approve. Tell me I'm wrong that they weren't nicer like this. Hey, 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 milkman. Yeah. Show sure enough, I'll be quiet. quiet. Be quiet, milkman. Quiet! They yell at him and he obeys. That's a lost art, the variety show. Thank Here we you go. Very much. Well, you know, at a party like this, everybody likes to click up their heels and pick up their heels and dance a bit. But when this gentleman over here picks up his heels, well, we all sit back and take notice. Friends and neighbors, this is Arthur Duncan dancing to You Are My Sunshine. Take it away, Arthur. This is more, this has to be more uncomfortable than the black sheriff in Blazing Saddles. And again, look at some of these girls. Ugh. Excuse me, I had, I had a great eggs and tomato breakfast. But he comes out and he just, he obediently... And, and what's wrong? Like, why be a pain in the ass like Reggie Jackson? An ingrate. Arthur Duncan is the anti-Reggie Jackson. the petticoats is that what that is dancing to please the white folk who sorely outnumber him Some of these chicks, though, man, she got little cowboy boots on. I'm a, I'm a coming. I'm a coming.
Wow. People, peeps, am I wrong about this? Once again, once again, I'm right about this. Following my path, you are my sunshine too. But really, what would be wrong? How about instead of like critical race theory classes in the ghetto or, you know, giving them playgrounds or whatever where they can stab each other, tap dancing classes. You know I'm right about that. Look at him. Standing up straight, smiling, enjoying the approval. We're very lucky to have a production. It's a little older and fatter here. And even, the, yeah, the band members have, it's supposed to be sometime in the late 60s, early 70s with the longer hair. Staff that spends a lot of time just to find the right music for every performer. In fact, sometimes they'll even write songs especially for us. It's like Reggie Jackson, too. Close your eyes and listen to him talk. You would never even suspect or be afraid that he might be black. For example, one of our rangers, Kurt Ramsey, wrote this next song to fit one of my dance routines. Kurt calls it Stop. Yes. Hey. Look at that. The, the, the black penguin. What is that? Oh, yeah. Effortless. Look, they may not have invented anything. And the possibility is that they may drag everything down, no matter where they go. But if you pat them on the head and give them a cookie for entertaining, they will entertain. Yes. Once again, they spare him. Remember <laughs> that name, we predict great things for this young man. Since Arthur Duncan became a regular on our show in May 1964, he has made millions of friends with his dancing, his wit, and his wonderful personality. Arthur, you're on. <laughs> Wait till his feet start talking. I'm called Big Noise from Winnetka. I've got rhythm in my... I'm called Big Noise from Winnetka. And I never miss a beat. He sings too. Yeah. You, you, you pull a string, he sings. He'll wash your dishes, shine your shoes. Oh, every, there was such a better equilibrium back then. Yeah. I'd like to show you a step that my boss taught me. Long so fucking wholesome. Well, Inoffensive. He doesn't even have the flat nostrils, the flat nose. He calls this step the Lawrence Welk strut. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did I miss something important? Did he say his boss? Did he declare that Lawrence Welk was his boss? Hold on a second. I got to go back. Here we go. He calls this step the Lawrence Welk. 
Whoop. A little bit more. Look at the smile. Just so eager to please and, and make you happy. Not offend you at all. I mean, as if just his presence and his, his background isn't offensive enough. He has to compensate. I'd like to show you a step that my boss took. His boss. His boss. Yes. Lawrence Welk. He calls this step the Lawrence Welk strut. Step the boss taught He calls this step the horse and buggy step or meanwhile back at the farm. Yeah. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, last February in the Los Angeles area, we had somewhat of a disaster with extremely. It's getting, getting out of breath a little bit. Be rains that caused flooding and mudslides, and many people lost their homes as a result of this. Well, I happen to live in one of the areas most heavily hit by the mudslides. However, some would consider you part of the mudslide, Arthur. I, I hate to inform you. But Arthur, never forget, even though you left this veil of tears last year, you were one of the good ones. Unknown reason I came out smelling like a rose. I lived in a $25,000 house and it slid into a $100,000 neighborhood. Wow. Telling anti segregation jokes. That is a little risque. The white guys here are gay as hell, but the, the women, God, pure, pure milkers all the way. He's a big noise from Jamaica. He's got rhythm in his shoes. He's a big noise from Jamaica. And he's here to dance for How much more we got here? Oh my God, we've got another nine minutes. I'm not sure if we can take that much, Arthur Duncan. When you hear the title, Sing, 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 you naturally expect that somebody would be doing some singing, but we have a different... God, what, what guy has had that haircut? Is that even a haircut? That might be just a hair helmet. Interpretation tonight. Let's see, we have, it seems to fit our show also, we have uh, Arthur Duncan dancing, we have Henry Cuesta playing clarinet, and even our associate producer, Jack Immel, gets into the act. Watch and listen. A chocolate wind-up doll for the amusement of all the Nordics from the Lawrence Welk Orchestra and all the, the rapidly declining elderly people who watch this every Saturday night. This was on Saturday night for years. The, I think the number one show in America that was on against was Gunsmoke. That, that's a blast from the past. Jeez. 
Just an enjoyable Negro mannequin. About as unthreatening as they come. Yeah. I <laughs> wanted to catch him in mid hop there and just looking, just making sure they're approving of him. Zibby Zam Zoom. Do it, Arthur Duncan. Arthur Duncan gets the second half of our show off to a lively start with one of his entertaining tap routines, dancing to the familiar San Antonio Rose. <laughs> I love this guy. He's like a major TV star, could barely speak English. Wait, wait for it, because every... and he's, Okay, he's going to dance in front of the Geritol sign. Let me look up what, what was Geritol exactly. It was something for elderly people to go to sleep. United States trademark name for various dietary supplements, several vitamin complexes, iron, multimineral, geritol. Let's see. Geriatric. Let's see. Geritol, geriatric. Beneficial for some older adults, particularly those lacking in iron and B vitamins. So that's who he danced for. We're older adult, older white adults. A predominantly Northern European ancestry who lacked iron and B vitamins. Wonderful. Do it, Arthur. But the punchline's going to come when he starts dancing. Let someone like this live in your neighborhood. Oh, that's the thing, too. Like in the house listing, the realtor described my neighborhood as a vibrant neighborhood. can make them dance twice as fast quick time view window speed playback speed let's go double speed do it arthur yeah even better <laughs> Yes. Hey, did, uh, did you notice that like nervous? He's like, I please them. They're not going to kill me. Let's do that in slow motion. View playback speed half. He finishes. And watch this. He takes a deep breath. And yeah, maybe he was out of breath, but it's like, I think what he's trying to convey is they didn't kill me. I will live to dance another day. <laughs> There he goes. Hold on. Now he's going to, when he stands back up again, he's going to take a deep breath, a sigh of relief, spared. Yes. Thank you, Arthur. What else we got here? How many? We're almost, we're almost done. Let's get normal playback speed, but I like when he dances faster. Dance quicker. Normal. Lawrence Welk. Well, on a wonderful day like today, what could be more enjoyable than watching Arthur Duncan in one of his very entertaining tap routines? All right. 
Now let's crank it up to double speed, playback speed, double, do it. On a wonderful day like today, I defy any cloud to appear in the sky. Every raindrop to pop in my eye on a wonderful day like today. like the sense of control and power it gives me that I can I can adjust to speed I can if I say hey hey there you you descendant of hey hey there colored fella dance dance slower I can control it back to normal playback speed normal all right not not fast enough and I guess back in the old west, they would have shot at his feet to make him dance this quickly. Yes, a little demonic there, but he, again, he's getting by with your approval. He realizes he's been spared. All is well out on the lone prairie. Things will be okay tonight for Arthur Duncan. Thank you very much. Going by. All right. I think, I think this is where uh, Lawrence Wilkes says something about uh, rhythm, race music, rhythm music, or something, <laughs> something that would be considered intensely racist today. Here we go. Uh -huh. Here's one example of music by Johnny Mercer, a man who had no formal musical training. Something's got a gift. Arthur Duncan gives you the beat. Arthur Duncan gives you the beat. <laughs> Okay, we got a minute and a half left. Let's just zoom through it. Playback speed double. Take it away, Mr. Bojangles Jr. God, if I'm ever depressed, I'm just going to play play videos of black guys from the you know 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s tap dancing at double speed, and I'll, I'll immediately pull out of it. Yes, yes, never fails. That's it. That's it. Well, my my friends, my my Caucasians, my Panther Cubs, I hope you enjoyed the first installment of Uncle Jimbo's favorite Yeah.